with Love in a Shoebox, and I'm at my church today. And while I was here, I thought I would show you another box that I've gotten packed. This one is a boys two to four box, and um, it's a construction theme. I just took a regular shoe box, and it is close to the same size as an OCC shoe box. It's wider on the bottom, but thinner up and down. And I really liked how it had the yellow and black look to it, looked very construction-like. I covered up part of it with some scrapbooking paper, but then I decorated the top with some Valentines from last year that I got um, at like 90% off. So I have my label on the end of my box that is marked boy two to four years. And it's really helpful to put them on the end of the box because if you put them in the middle, that's where at the processing center that we put the tape to seal it up so it would cover up your label. So always make sure to put the label on one end or the other end of your shoe box. Okay. So the inside of the lid I decorated as well. And I put you are loved like so many people are doing and I just love it. So I stole that idea. And this is the top of his box and I kind of had it in here, I had the lid on upside down. Um, oops. This is what he'll see. Um, on the top of the box, I do have a stuffed lion. And this was, I think, after Christmas clearance at Walmart. Um, he was at least a dollar fifty or seventy five cents. I'm not sure which one I picked him up for. Probably a dollar fifty. Super soft. His mane's very soft. And he has a pair of black socks. And it's this cute little drawstring bag. And inside the bag, this is going to go with um, some of the things that are in the box. And you'll see they're little construction signs and you can put them all together. They came with the stickers not on them. I had to put the stickers on the signs. He has a yellow lip whistle. Got this at Dollar General in the party section. He has this little rubber guy and um, he I put in here so that he would go with the set that's in this box. I've got it that set okay and this is a bag full of construction vehicles kind of hard to see with the light there's like a, um, a cement truck and um, the kind with the forklift on the front and a crane there's six different vehicles now I don't usually leave them in the plastic a lot of you guys are gonna be like why are you putting this trash in and why are you leaving it in the plastic but for this particular box it really helped fit them very neatly and keep them together. So I chose to leave them as they came, all wrapped up in this plastic. He has this little construction shirt. I was able to get this um, a few weeks ago at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. I believe it's size 4T. He has this pair of underwear. It's a Minions pair of underwear, but it was yellow and black. So I went ahead and included it. He has this nice pair of black, soft, stretchy pants. And these I got on clearance at Walmart for a dollar as well. He has these really big, really fat crayons. I got these in a package with a lot more than just these in here on clearance at Walmart um, a while back for like a dollar. I'm able to split it up into several groups. So I put these in a Ziploc baggie to keep them together. He has a toothbrush with a cover. This is from Dr. Fresh and um, you can get them five for a dollar at Walmart. He has this little notebook it has a foam cover with a little kind of like, you know, construction-ish <laughs> truck. Um, and it's just a notebook with blank paper in it. And this I was able to get after Valentine's Day half price at Walmart on clearance. He has a yellow bounce ball. 
These came from Walmart last year and our local Walmart generously donated a bunch of them to my church to use in shoe boxes. And this is the exciting part. Kim got this with all the, she's my helper that likes to buy things for my shoe box, shoe boxes. And um, this is a really cool mat. And this is where all the little construction vehicles I showed you and road signs, you can put them on the mat to play with it. And this mat is rubber on the back and kind of like a nylon stretchy bathing suit kind of material on the front. And it's just awesome. I just love it. So this is the wow gift of this box is the construction mat. Actually, I'm just gonna lay it out like this just cause I like looking at it so much. He has a yellow bag with school supplies inside. And I have all the normal school supplies in here. I have um, pencil sharpener, some, some pencils, some Ticonderoga pencils, uh, a little lion eraser just because he has a lion stuffed animal, and a little truck eraser to match his notebook, and you know, all the goodies in the bag has some boat stickers. I just had those, so I went ahead and put them in. He has a poem right here. He has this Melissa and Doug really cool set, and these were on sale last year, I believe, for $2. And let's see. Inside, there's just a bunch of different terrain things to put stickers on. There's a lot of them. And then there's like, let's see, where did I see it? There's stickers too, like these stickers with all the construction here. And then there's stickers inside of here that go on this one. And then stickers in here that go on this car track. Let's see. Just a lot of different, oh, there's even more train stickers to go in the train yard. You get it. Just lots of stickers and things to do with stickers in this booklet. He has this set of stickers from the Dollar Tree, which has some, I mean, it's not exactly construction, but it's like roads, and he has this road map here. It's got googly eyes has a color form construction sticker thing. He has lots of things to do with stickers, so hopefully this guy has fun with stickers. And he has this Paw Patrol coloring book, which is not construction, but we have the little dog with the construction hat on the front, and I just thought it matched nicely. So he has this coloring book. So that is everything in this boys two to four construction theme or car theme, however you want to look at it, shoebox. I think it turned out really well. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon with some more videos.